Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problem 37 of the 1973 AP Calculus Multiple Choice exam. Uh, this is for the BC. Uh, this corresponds to number one on our limits review series. So in other, this problem, 37, we are to find the limit as x approaches zero of 1 minus cosine square of 2x divided by x square. So in order for us to find this limit, there are two facts I want you to keep in mind. Um, the first one is the Pythagorean identity that you studied in trig and pre-calc. 1 minus cosine square theta is equal to sine square theta. And you also want to remember um, the squeeze theorem, its application to the limit as x approaches zero of sine ax over uh, bx. You can also apply L'Hopital's rule here. This limit is equal to a over b. Okay? So we are going to be using these two facts um, to solve this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on the problem. So we have um, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine square 2x over x square. Now, first thing you want to note is that the argument of the cosine function uh, is 2x. The square of the cosine function is 2x. So I want to make the denominator identical to this argument here. So what I'll do is I'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 square. Okay? 2 square. Now, um, we can factor out this 2 square to the front. So we have 4. 4 times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine square 2x divided by 2x quantity square. Okay, so you see why I wanted that 2 square downstairs there, because you see you have 2x square here, and then you have a square and then a cosine 2x. Now, in order to be able to make use of um, our this um, limit fact right here involving sine, we have to have sine in the in the numerator, okay? So to accomplish that, we are going to use the Pythagorean identity here to change the numerator. So the numerator is now going to become 4 times the limit as x approaches 0. Instead of 1 minus cosine squared of 2x, we'll have sine squared of 2x. Okay, imagine this formula where theta is 2x. So we have that divided by 2x squared. Now we can write this limit as 4 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x divided by 2x times sine of 2x divided by 2x. Okay? Now we know that we can uh, take the limit of these two terms, term by term limit. That's one of the properties of limits. So we can rewrite this limit as 4 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 2x over 2x times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 2x over 2x. Okay? And what you see is that we can now use this fact right here that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine ax over bx is equal to a over b. Um, so in this situation, a is 2 and b is also 2. So we are going to have 4 times 2 over 2, that's the value of this limit, times the value of the second limit will be 2 over 2 also. 
your final answer will be 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4. Okay, so we can clearly see that the answer is option letter E. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates sort of cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any um, limits question on the AP exam, feel free to include it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.